Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This is the lesson on blood vessels. So when we look at all the blood vessels in the human body, uh, there are several types. Arteries are all the blood vessels that take blood out of the heart. They tend to be thick, they tend to be very strong, very tough, because you got a lot of blood shooting through them, so they need to be. Arterioles are like mini arteries that branch off of it. So think of uh, arteries as like freeways, and then arterioles are kind of like off-ramps, and eventually you get into tinier little residential streets that are oftentimes smaller and, and take you to all the specific places in a neighborhood. Capillaries are like that. The smallest blood vessels that come off from arteries and physically take blood and the oxygen and nutrients inside of the blood to the cells that need them. All of those capillaries eventually come together to form venules. So the venules are taking that deoxygenated blood, which looks kind of more bluish purplish because of hemoglobin changing, and, and you'll hear more about that in the blood lessons. The venules take all of that blood back onto freeways, you can think of them as on-ramps, going into the veins that are going to take that blood back to the heart. And veins are also very large, but structurally a bit different from arteries. When we look at vessel structure, um, arteries and veins have these layers. Uh, the size of the layers relative to each other are different in the veins and arteries, but let's cover these in general first. So if we start from the most superficial part of these tubes, uh, the tunica externa is that sheath around the outside. Uh, sometimes it's called the tunica adventitia. It just depends on the textbook. Uh, they both mean that outer sheath. And it's going to be mainly connective tissue. Uh, and that connective tissue is very tough, very strong. Uh, you don't want it to break. You don't want blood leaking out of it. And also that connective tissue is important for attaching the arteries and veins to the tissues around them. You do not want your... Uh, your veins, your arteries moving around a bunch. You want them anchored and in place where they're supposed to be. So the major arteries and veins of your body, they have tissue uh, keeping them in place. And that tissue, uh, those, those fibers are going to be attached to the tunica externa. The tunica media, media meaning, you know, in the middle, is going to be mainly smooth muscle. So you can see smooth muscle right here. Smooth muscle is going to be in that tunica media. And the reason why there's smooth muscle there, especially in the arteries, is you want to be able to relax and constrict or dilate and um, make smaller uh, those arteries just to uh, adjust blood flow in the body. And your blood pressure adjusts throughout the day. I'll talk about more about that in a little bit later in this lesson, but you want to be able to manipulate the size of those vessels. So smooth muscle, a very important part of the tunica media. And then more connective tissue fibers, specifically collagen and elastic fibers, are going to allow the size of it to adjust as needed. And then finally, tunica interna, also called tunica intima, just depending on which textbook you're looking in, is the most internal, deep part uh, of the arteries and veins and the other blood vessels. And that's going to be where blood itself is moving through. It's like a nice little tubular slide. It's smooth, and it's composed of endothelium. Um, at the smallest, smallest blood vessels, capillaries, they're just endothelium without the other layers. Um, but all the blood vessels have that layer that's meant to shuttle blood through it. And the size of the endothelium, uh, in terms of its diameter, changes based on how much the smooth muscle is contracting or relaxing. The lumen is the name for the internal part where blood is actually moving through. So the hollow region within the endothelium layer is called a lumen. And actually other organs of the body uh, that have hollow chambers, like even the stomach, you could say the lumen of the stomach. But lumen in this case is referring to the hollow structure uh, inside of vessels.